Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a steering dampener on a 2008 F350. Mine has gone, well it's leaking, and I just don't want to get death wobble. Their uh, trucks are infamous for it. So I picked up a Rancho RS 7000, I think, 715, something like that. I got it off rockauto.com. It's the best place to get all those parts. It's reasonably cheap. Um, I think I paid. 60 bucks for it uh, comes with obviously your shock your boot and then all of you nuts uh, Whatever you want to call this everything everything new So for this job, you're gonna need a torque wrench hammer uh, Wrench I have seven eights here a 18 mil socket you need a 15 mil socket 18 mil wrench, ratchets. You may need a pickle fork. Uh, I'll explain that to you in a bit. And ear protection. And oh, also anti-seize. Please get this because you'll make this so much easier for the next guy. So first thing you gotta do is you have two bolts here. You have one here and one up here. There it is there. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this one off. This is an 18 millimeter socket. I sprayed uh, penetrating oil on this a day ago. Um, if you're watching this video, you're probably already balls deep or you're about to do it. Um, but yeah, I would recommend spraying these. They could be bad. Um, mine wasn't bad, but yours could be very well, depending on if there's any rust on it or not. Okay, and the next bolt is up here. So I've got mine off. This is what mine came with. I'm not sure, I think this was to hold up the electrical line or something. I'm not sure why I had this. You might not have this. I believe my new set has a nut only, so I'll just use that. Sorry for the noises, we have garage sale weekend. So then this, your bolt is going to pop out. That's out. Just in case. So as you'll see now, this side's out and free. Now this side we just gotta pull out. Basically what you wanna do is take heat, sorry, put the camera straight here, heat and penetrating oil. Don't use WD-40, use like a penetrating oil. Uh, WD-40 is just, it's it's for lubrication, not for actually penetrating. Uh, so you need a penetrating oil. Spray the f out of that, um, and then heat it up a lot. 2,000 years later. And just keep hammering it, and it'll come out. Mine took some force, but I didn't even have to use a pickle fork, and some guys say they do. So, um, worst case scenario, a pickle fork, but just keep hammering on her with heat as well, and you should get it. I gotta probably grind this off because I bent it from hammering on it. I think she's toast. Okay, so this is the old one here. Uh, this is the new one. Uh, I'm going to anti-seize inside and on this as well, just so then it doesn't get seized up again. Mine wasn't that bad, but they can get bad, so I'm gonna save either myself or the next guy. So, do that. Be the nice guy, and he sees it for them. So you're gonna wanna stick it on this side first. Washer, nut, and he sees all of this. Be the nice guy. Okay. Make sure you cut your zip tie and piece off. Bring it up to here. You're gonna have to extend it a bit. So just literally pull on the strut until you get it to line up. 
15 millimeter socket on the impact, 18 millimeter on the wrench. Get on your torque wrench and do 35 foot pounds. 35 foot pounds, 35 foot pounds, and I, I'm gonna do at least 35 on this. Um, it's, uh, it doesn't give me the actual torque spec on the piece of paper that I got, but I'm gonna do, make sure it's at least 35. I'm gonna torque those down right now. So in the end, I did 54 foot pounds on this side. And then on this side, I did 35 pounds. That's what it says to do on here. And because it's pressed in, I don't want to go over that. So. Thanks guys for watching on how to install a steering dampener on a 2008 F350. Don't forget to like. Comment if you have any questions and subscribe.